What up, guys? My liquid talking juice, as always. Let's talk about fishing reels. Flugers, specifically. So, I got a Fluger President and a Fluger Patriarch XT. Uh, there is a difference between just a Patriarch and Patriarch XT, just like they make a President XT, which I do not have. Uh, I would like to get one though, because I feel like it would be the perfect in-between uh, between both of these, and you'll see why as we start talking about them. So I've had the Fluger President for many years now. As you can see, um, it's pretty hammered. This thing is beat up. Uh, this is a size 30, which is the spool size mainly. Uh, it holds 145 yards of six pound test. And the reason I say six is because that's what I use mostly. There's other measurements for other uh, pound test as well, but uh, 145 yards of six pound test. Now they make two smaller sizes, which will get even smaller than this and lighter in weight as well. Uh, but this is the one that I have. I have a 40, I believe, on one of my bass rods. Uh, same exact reel, uh, the Fluger President, from the same year. I think the newer year models, I don't know if they've really changed that much to them. I know the color, I think, is a little bit darker blue than this. Um, and then I have the Patriarch XT. Recently picked this reel up. Um, so I will go over some of the differences between these two reels now that I've been using both for a little while now. Um, <clears throat> this one holds 180 yards of six pound test. So slightly more than this one. And they used to make a Patriarch XT in a size 30. Um, it's not even on their website anymore. I don't know if they're going to discontinue it or what. I probably should have gotten that one for the purpose behind this, which is gonna to go on my backpacking setup because it's lighter in weight. If you look at these two reels, uh, this Patriarch XT here is way bigger. It, I mean, in looks, it physically is much bigger, but it weighs quite a bit less than this one. So I should have got the smaller one of this, uh, the Patriarch, and been happy with that. The reason I bought this one is I don't remember exactly how much line the, uh, the size 30 of the Patriarch uh, held, but it was not enough for me to feel safe going on multi-day backpacking fishing trips without having to bring extra spools of line with me. I guess in today's fishing world, it's a lot more about finesse fishing and you're not using much line and you're using most of the line that's on your spool. And that's all fine and dandy, except for the fact that when you're trout fishing, you get snags or you're dragging your line across the rocks all day. So you end up snipping off quite a bit of line throughout just one day of fishing. So in order to keep from having to re-spool new line every single day that I went fishing, I ended up going with the 35. And I am happy with it, um, but I, I maybe could have got the 30 and still been happy with that as well. Now, I did not like this reel when I first got it. Uh, it definitely needs to be broken in. Uh, it's, it's stiff. The bale was pretty stiff to because uh, it, it closes you know, on its own. When, so that way you can start reeling whenever you want, even if the lure is still mid-flight. Um, and that was pretty stiff. And I was thinking, like, man, maybe this is the high-end reel. This is the, uh, the highest price point, most featured reel that Fluger makes for a spinning reel. And this is one of their entry-level ones. It's not the most base base model, but it's one of their entry-level ones. Uh, price point-wise, this thing, goes for 250 bucks. Uh, it is on sale right now on their website, I think for like 213. And this guy retails for 65 bucks. So let's talk about some of the features that are differentiating the prices between these two and a couple other things that I like about one over the other or vice versa. So max drag on the Patriarch, this thing can go up to 14 pounds of drag, which is plenty enough for any type of trout fishing that you're going to be doing. Meanwhile, the max drag on this little president is uh, 10 pounds, which I've still never had a trout maxing out my drag on this reel, and I've been using this thing for years. So 
Um, big difference on the, the next thing here, uh, six to two to one gear ratio versus a five to two to one gear ratio. Now it's only one number different really, doesn't seem like a lot, it's huge. So when you're reeling in fast moving water, uh, trying to catch fish in the rapids and stuff, that lure has to be moving at the speed of that current. And with this president, you are struggling to try to keep up sometimes. And you're like, man, there's no way these fish can catch this. That's moving way too fast. Well, they can, they, they swim fast. But having a, a higher gear ratio, I can reel even faster with this thing. This thing with one trip around, so let's say the uh, the reel, uh, the handle here is at the bottom, one trip around and back to the bottom, picks up 34 inches of line. Meanwhile, the president only picks up 25.3 inches of line for one trip around. So this thing's picking up substantially more line a lot faster. Uh, as far as smoothness goes, this thing has an 11 bearing system. It makes that thing super buttery smooth to reel. And the president has 10 bearings, which is still pretty smooth. And you hear a little bit of noise when I'm reeling it. That's uh, just the extra line that I have tied off right there. That's what it's catching on the bale there. Um, and this thing is several years old. So I've, I've fully taken this thing apart down to its uh, the far insides, the little gear on the inside and tightened everything back up, um, making sure and re-lubricated everything. So that this thing stays uh, doing well for me for years to come. So this guy has a magnesium body and rotor, which is where the lightweight comes from. Well, this has a graphite body and rotor. Um, this thing weighs in at, um, let's see, where is it? Uh, 7.2 ounces for the, uh, the Patriarch XT. Meanwhile, this one, although it looks smaller, weighs 8.8 .8 ounces. So using a lot more high-end products on the, the Patriarch to give it that lightweight. So uh, this guy also has a machined aluminum main gear and this guy uh, does not actually. They both have sealed drag systems, um, one piece bales, skeletonized spool on this guy. So as you can see there, um, cut out the middle, lighter weight. Everything inside is still sealed though, so you don't have to worry about I mean, dirt gets on the inside here, but it's not getting down inside into the middle. And eventually, at some point, I will take it apart and clean it, make sure everything's still performing like it should in there and re-grease everything. Um, but this guy also has a carbon handle, which you can see, I think, maybe, maybe not. Um, and a titanium main shaft. Uh, and this guy has an aluminum handle, not titanium. So, some big differences here. Uh, I will tell you, I don't know if I would spend $250 on this reel again. Uh, I think that the President or even like the President XT, which I'm not sure on the price point of it, but it has a few more features than what the regular President has, would be plenty substantial to be considered a high-end reel. Uh, they're super smooth. They're not made of cheap materials that are going to break on you. I have, I mean, you see all the scratches and stuff on this thing. I've fallen on rocks and hit this thing straight first uh, that you know took all the weight of my fall and still working just fine for me so I yeah for between 65 bucks and 250 I don't know if it's really worth that much difference I tell you when I first got this thing I was like no way this thing is not worth 250 bucks now that it's broken in uh, and everything's functioning a little smoother yeah, I can justify it a little bit better. Um, I really do want to get a, an XT, a pay, or a, sorry, a Fluger President XT, which is the slightly upgraded version of this, uh, and give that a try and see if that would be the kind of happy medium between these two as far as features and price point goes. Um, and then they also make, so they make this in several different sizes. As I mentioned earlier, they have bigger sizes, which I have a bigger size on one of my bass rods. They make smaller sizes too. So just to put it in comparison in with this, as far as weight goes, um, this is a President 30X, as far as how much line can go on this spool. They make all the way down to a 20X, and I, they also have a 25. The 20X still has a five to two to one gear ratio, just like this one does. It weighs 6.2 ounces. So the smallest President reel barely underweighs this thing 
just because of the features and benefits and everything about this this reel here as far uh magnesium and the carbon fiber and all that stuff so fluga reels uh are in my opinion one of the best out there uh some people well i mean many of you probably like other reels better um my brother doesn't even agree with me but he's never really even used a fluger so to each their own you kind of you you use what you like and I've, I've been using presidents and flugers and now patriarchs for a while now so it's just what i like um and they're they're high-end quality products and they're I mean this this patriarch was pricey but they they could be pricier so uh, there's your kind of a rough overview of Fluger reels specifically spinning reels um, and between these two models they make several other models as well um, and everything in between but these are the two that you're mostly gonna see me fishing with um, and maybe someday I'll, I'll add a, a President XT model in, into the mix as well. I think they only make it in one color though, which is kind of unfortunate. It's like a pinkish salmon color uh, with a cork handle. Uh, that's actually one of the things I wanted to touch on. Um, believe it or not, on the President reel, I really like this grip on this handle. The shape of it and the fact that it's kind of rubberized. Uh, I like it better than this Patriarch. So the Patriarch, it's bigger, but it's almost more of a felt finish. And I, although it is bigger, I don't care for the shape of it. Uh, I, I like the one on the President better, and I was actually wondering if I could switch them. I don't know if that's possible or not, but <clears throat> that's really nitpicky to say that about uh, you know a high-end reel that I'm nitpicking about the grip. But I feel like I have lost bites before because my hand slipped off of this, especially when it's get, when it gets wet. I just I can't grip it as well as the rubberized grip. So there you go. Uh, that's the one negative I guess you could say about the Patriarch XT reel is I don't really care for the grip that much. But other than that, uh, there's your overview between Fluger reels. Like I said, these are what you're going to see me using most of the time throughout all my videos. Uh, and then maybe someday I will add an XT to the lineup. Um, but it, there you go. If you have any questions specifically about Fluger reels or any reels in general, really, they're all similar uh, as far as their makeup goes and what's on the inside and stuff like that. Just some differences here and there as far as brand and how the things, the parts go together. Uh, but if you have questions or uh, concerns or anything like that, or give me your input on what you think about Fluger reels, I'd be happy to hear it so thanks for watching and we'll uh, stay tuned for the next video we'll start getting into some more um, tutorials of how to fish trout fishing specifically for now while it's still trout season uh, but like I've been saying that the uh, you go to your local store that sells fishing supplies and they're wiped clean which is to my knowledge never really happened before so that means a lot of you are getting out fishing for the first time which is cool to see uh, during this pandemic the people are trying to get outside and do stuff, but you probably have no idea how it works So we'll start getting us into some videos on how to fish the basics and then all the way into some more Advanced trout fishing techniques and stuff like that, too. So stay tuned for that and uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks <laughs>